All right, let's talk about databases and queries. How we manage attribute tables, do queries, selections, and anything related to the attributes associated with the features on our map, we're leaning on the database part of a GIS. This is fundamentally what makes a GIS different than a graphic design software, for example. While I can do many of the same things to so-called data in a graphic design software like Adobe Illustrator or potentially even something like Microsoft Paint, these softwares don't have the same capabilities of one, having points, lines, and polygons with geographical and coordinate system information, and two, they do not have a database. The attributes in combination with the spatially aware data is what makes GIS unique and powerful. The database management system is what provides structure for your data, manages storage, allows you to update and maintain the data and query or answer questions with your data. Say you wanna find all of the county polygons that have more than 100,000 people. We are able to do that through a process called querying. We'll talk about that more through this video. Software that handles the structuring, storing, maintenance, update, and querying of the data is called a database and a database management system. A relational database management system is an advanced database management system where the data is stored in tabular form. Most databases that you know of, aka Microsoft Access or ArcGIS, are actually relational database management systems. SQL, or standard query language, is the programming language that is used for managing data held in a relational database management system. When you ask a question of your database, it's called a query. In ArcGIS, there are two types of queries, select by attributes and definition queries. You use SQL to perform these queries, You may have used select by attributes in ArcGIS by now. Select by attributes is one of two ways to query your database. This type of query selects features in a layer based on your SQL input. In this example, I have a layer called state dissolve five. I'm making a new selection where the state name field has a value of Delaware. The other way you might want to write a query is with a definition query. Definition queries remove everything from your view of the database in the interface. This is a nice way to limit features in the map or analysis, but not delete any of your underlying data. You might have a data set with all of the counties in the whole country, but you want to make a map of just Oregon. You don't want to delete all of the other counties uh, in all of the other states because you might want to use those in a data set later on. But in the meantime, you can exclude everything except for the counties in Oregon by writing a query that just shows those counties. In the example here on the right, I'm excluding all of the counties that have names other than Allegheny. You can get to the definition query by opening up the layer properties in ArcGIS. In all cases in ArcGIS Pro, you can switch to the SQL code. I've highlighted that in the top right. The GUI or graphical user interface makes it easy for you to access, but sometimes you might wanna edit the actual, the actual SQL code. ArcGIS gives you a GUI, again, graphical user interface, so you don't actually have to write SQL but knowing a little bit of SQL is useful for using other GISs and other database management systems and understand what you're really doing. Knowing SQL also allows you to make more complicated queries that aren't available through the GUI. 